The demand was certainly intense when the COVID vaccine first arrived in Colorado, but just a few months later, the state has to hold a big dollar contest to generate more interest. So tonight, we wanted to know which counties are struggling and some of the reasons why. First, the details of the giveaway called Colorado Comeback Cash. Governor Polis revealed the details today after nearly a week of speculation. There will be five drawings to win $1 million starting June 4th. If you have already been vaccinated, don't worry, you're not going to miss out. You have already been entered into this contest. Everyone else will be entered as soon as they get their first shot. We have seen this kind of drawing work in states like Ohio, where they saw a surge in interest uh, from launching uh, their drawing. And we expect that we'll see the same thing here. All you have to do to enter is get vaccinated. So some counties don't need much of an incentive. San Juan, San Miguel, Summit, Mineral, and Eagle counties are the best in the state when it comes to vaccination rates based on the eligible population. The hope is to boost the numbers in the counties that are lagging behind. That's Elbert, Washington, Cheyenne, Bent, and Crowley counties. They're the least vaccinated parts of the state. Only 31% of people 12 and older in Elbert County have gotten the shot. Well, that's where Andrea Flores joins us from tonight. Andrea, you went to Elizabeth to talk to people and find out why. Elbert County health officials are focusing on getting the shot to anyone who wants it. And the public health director tells me he believes this could really be an incentive for people in their 20s and 30s. He says while many older adults have been vaccinated, it's the younger residents they're worried about. I'm one of those people that can't be bought. Richard Houston doesn't plan to get the COVID vaccine. He says the Colorado Comeback Cash giveaway won't change his mind. I think it's kind of, you know, a way to buy people to do something that they don't really want to do. Only 31% of Elbert County residents have received their first dose, one of the lowest vaccination rates in the state. We do not have a hospital in the county, so a lot of folks must go outside the county to get vaccinated. Uh, we only have four enrolled vaccine providers. There is certainly vaccine hesitancy. There's also vaccine refusal. Public Health Director Dwayne Smith hopes the new statewide incentive will convince people on the fence. And what better incentive is there than cash? Individual behavior is a tough thing to gauge particularly in a conservative community. While some people in Elbert County are looking forward to the chance of winning a million dollars. I'm all for it. Anything to help out, you know, to get people vaccinated. I think it's kind of exciting if I can win a million dollars for protecting myself and my family. I'm not, I'm all for it. Other residents would rather take their chances. A million dollars, a million dollars. I would love to have that, believe me. But at the same time is I would rather go buy a scratcher. The Safeway is one of only four places in the area to get the vaccine, and the public health director tells me he hopes that more people get vaccinated so they can return to a full schedule of summer activities, including the rodeo and county fair. Reporting live tonight in Elizabeth, I'm Andrea Flores covering Colorado First.